This explains how to use Git to obtain the homework assignments. This class has an organization called Purdue ECE264. Inside this organization, there are several repositories for 2018 Spring Problems, 2018 Fall Problems, 2019 Fall Problems, and 2020 Fall Problems. Since this semester is the fall semester of 2020, you should pay attention to the 2020 Fall Problem Repository. You are welcome to see the problems used in the past semesters. To get a copy of the problem, you need to clone the repository. How can we do that? It is shown in this terminal. First, the cd command without anything after means returning to the top directory. Next, cd ece264 to enter a directory that was created earlier in another video lecture. Create a new directory called problems by using the mkdir command. Enter this directory. Use the git clone command to create a copy of the problems. The ALS command shows that a new directory has been added. The PWD command shows where we are in the directories. If we enter this directory, we can see three files in one directory. The three files are a grade request.pdf and license and readme.md. The grade request form allows anyone with exceptional situations to request a specific grade regardless of this person's actual performance in this class. The license file explains how you may or may not use the files created for the course. This class uses the Apache License version 2.0. This is one of several popular licenses for open source software. The readme file explains the entire repository. This file contains some formatting commands. Thus, the best way to read it is seeing it on the GitHub's website. Let's enter the part 1 directory. Inside this directory, there are 6 directories right now, called HW01 Linux, HW02 Sort, HW03 Cake, and so on. More directories will be added later. I prefer to always use ls-f because it shows whether a name is a file or a directory. I am going to create an alias for ls. When I type ls, it actually means ls-f. Let me show you how to do that. I use the cd command to return to the top directory. The original ls command does not show hidden files. In order to show hidden files, add minus "-a after ls". We are going to create an alias of ls so that it actually means ls-f. The echo command prints what is between the quotation marks. The greater greater symbols means appending the line to the end of a file. If the file does not exist, the file is created. There are two quotation marks shown here. The file.bashrc is a special file. It is used when you start a terminal. We also need to use quotation marks to enclose ls-f. Thus, we have to use slash quotation marks. The slash symbol says that the quotation marks will be treated as ordinary symbols. The more command can show the content of a file. As you can see, the file has one line and it says alias alas means alas minus f. Since this terminal has already started, the file.bashrc has not been used for this terminal. As a result, this terminal still uses the original alas. The source command reads the .bashrc file and sets the alias. Now, the ALS command actually means ALS minus F. If you start a new terminal, ALS also means ALS minus F.